do you? How do you miss? <laughs> like five? Whoa, that's how you missed. <laughs> Why is this so funny? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae the first, the day portion of Moving Eclipse. And it's me, Mr. Twitchy, the night portion of Moving Eclipse, here with episode six of season three of Demon Slayer. The last episode, um, <laughs> Hinokami Kagura, that's all I gotta say. But there's other stuff that went on too. We got Gyoko and Tokito um, starting off their matchup. Um, we finally got to see Mitsuri join the battle. She ends up just going crazy on all the, the vases on top of the big goldfish um, with her really unique sword, which is basically like a whip slash sword mm -hmm. slash ribbon. The way that she, you know, she looks like she's dancing. <laughs> doing the love breathing nezuko used her blood demon art to make his sword turn he said it turned it even redder even though the color was still kind of like more like nezuko's mm -hmm. but until later on once we've seen him actually use it then we've seen it was like a mix of both um what's his name uh Hintengu, the the lightning one he got kind of shook because of muzan's memories of you know swordsman in the past scaring the shit out of him and uh cornering him like most definitely cornering him back then. And then that flashback came back, PTSD moment, Tanjiro slicing off all their heads, beautiful animation. And at the end of the episode, we seen the boy Genya. He actually sliced off the final head of the sad Hatengu um, upper four and was like, what's going on with him? His, his <laughs> hair tips were like yellow or like tannish or something like that. And then he was like, I don't know, he was looking a little, he was huffing and puffing and stuff, and then once he turned around, he seen the black eyes, and Tanjiro was like, is he? Yep. Like, like, and then the episode ended. So, that's where we left off at, but is there anything you want to mention before we head into the next episode? No, just a question. Um, we're obviously going to get into this next episode right now, but was that enough? The four Hantengus mm -hmm. all either their heads chopped off or their tongues sliced. Was that enough to defeat them? So without any further delay, guys, let's get into the newest episode of Demon Slayer, Season 3, Episode 6, right about now. Yeah, get it out of there. <laughs> you probably should have started with that, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> For real. He, he turned around with the Genya like, damn, what's going on with him? <laughs> For a few minutes. Hmm. Damn, what, what should we do next? Oh, yeah, Nezuko. <laughs> oh, that's what that was last episode. It was like his scent trail. Fifth one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Bakugo, damn. He is perfect for this role. <laughs> hey, all these companies in the future keep getting him for for roles for characters like this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's like 3D lightning! Yeah. Ooh, that OSC. I like that. I don't know why Genya they just look funny like that. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Both demons, but they just look kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> crazy but innocent. <laughs> that sword look clean though, I like that. It almost looks like a lightsaber the way that it's glowing red. Woo! Mm -hmm. Damn. Interesting that he, the way he's speaking, it's almost like mm -hmm. those are separate from himself. Oh Damn! God. Blood is not playing, man. Damn. That's so annoying. It's funny because, like, all three of them are so annoying when, like, they just pop up out of nowhere and do something, like, equally as annoying. 
Oh my god. Oh. This is tough. You thought Gyotaro and Daki was tough? This is tough. <laughs> For one, they're stronger, and two is more of them. It's like, bro. Yeah, they what? don't have the numbers <laughs> advantage this time. Oh my! Stabbed. Oh, uh. impaled. And oh we go back to pot boy. Oh, it's <laughs> the I forget what that weapon's a uh, high bold. Um, it's mm. through her. What is this? Oh wow. my! It's got remnants of the... That is sick! Oh! Damn. Oh my god! Damn. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I feel like he's been getting violated the most, especially <laughs> based off his emotion. I feel like they're doing that on purpose. <laughs> That's crazy. He's giving him GPS directions yeah. in the forest. Right? Why is that? You know what's funny about that is like he's really doing a monologue in his head and he's just yelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. How do you miss? <laughs> like, five? Whoa, that's how you missed. <laughs> Why is this so funny? Oh, wow. I forgot that happened. <laughs> he is killing it in the studio. That boy is yelling. <laughs> Damn. Jeez. Bro, I ain't signed up for this. What was the title of the episode? Aren't you going to be a Hashira? This is him for him, too. Uh, yeah, about that. I'm quitting. Mm. Yep. Confirmation. Happy Mother's Day, guys. All oh, right, yeah. Happy Mother's <laughs> Day. <laughs> Another thing with this series, though, um, going back to what Gio Taro said at, at uh, last season about how a lot of times in your life is all about fortune and misfortune, and they intertwine with each other, and they mm -hmm. change. That's a deep voice for a 10-year-old. <laughs> Tell me. I remember when they used to do that shit all the time in the early 2000s. I'm like, bro. This boy Itachi sound like a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. I'm like, damn. I'd be forgetting. Like, <laughs> one, two, three, four. So the ages of these kids and like parents they be getting they be getting in <laughs> i mean look back in the day mm -hmm. if you if you Man. went at it you had a kid <laughs> just... and, and none of them look like twins it's really just a year after a year after <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my Ta That is oh, ridiculous. and that's how I got scarred. Ah, yep. Damn. Whew. Boy, hit him with a spear. That is insane. Mm -hmm. One of them in your arms. He was in your arms the whole time, and that happened. That's crazy. He didn't blink, and it, like... Man. 
the trauma that kids face in this series is almost unparalleled. I'm not going to say it's like the right. best in anime, but it is up there. Sanemi, man. Golly. Also, this VA is killing it too. The, the I think younger, it is. Uh, yeah, I think. No, I think it's him. Really? Yeah, he's very good at that. Wow. You're right. Right? You're right. right? I can hear it. He got range. I, I could kind of like hear it in like the way he speaks. He kind of reminds me of Yuki Kaji with Aaron. Mm hmm. I don't be understanding how some people be having range for real. Like, you gotta be inhaling helium in the studio. <laughs> for real. Oh, Damn. it was the mom. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yep. Again, guys, I know we've said this in every video. We're manga readers. I forgot a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I, this is one thing that I did remember. That's crazy. This VA killing it, man. Damn. This is a real sunset. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> and that was the last happy day I ever had. <laughs> and also for the people thinking back to when we first met uh Sonami as well, you seen how his he was really aggressive and stuff. Now you're starting to understand a little bit about his, you know, his upbringing. <laughs> My heart. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Woo! Woo I'm too quick. Yeah. <laughs> you too can become a main character. Weeping oh, Spears, no. whoa. whoa. I've been waiting for his moveset. Mm. Oh, man. They did that perfectly. I'll leave it to you. Get that Look little shit out of here. Look at this thing running. Hey, man, Tanjo, <laughs> you fast as fuck right now, man. You better get him. <laughs> Come on, man. Yes, sir. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is so comical. For real. Mm-hmm. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Don't end. Hmm? You Why? dirty studio. I don't like that. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm, I'm done upset. That different. I'm upset. <laughs> like, at least, like, at least show the blade coming towards. I mean, I know this will be a cliffhanger, but like, damn. It just. Uh. I'm upset. Great episode, though, man. Yeah. Like, this one. Like in its entirety, um, like the last episode had you know a few really really good moments, especially with the Hinokami Kagura. But mm. for this episode, for Genya and all that, his backstory, it it just hit and it works. And I uh, one of my favorite ones so far for the season for sure. And we'll see what they uh, put in the end. <laughs> But, uh, so if I'm not mistaken, when the anime first came out, uh, and when they got to the selection ceremony process, and it was revealed that Genya had Bakugo's VA, um, I'm pretty sure that this portion of the manga had already been released. 
And mm. I knew exactly when they casted him for that role that he was going to absolutely body this scene, and that's exactly what he did. Hmm. Long time to make. <laughs> just accept it and so you know guys sometimes if it doesn't appear for this final for the um like the post credit or post ending it's we're watching it but sometimes we might not always put it on the screen mm -hmm. but yeah um <laughs> but yeah like i said this episode i really i really enjoyed it thoroughly enjoyed it uh genya seeing his like it makes him very likable with him and also his brother as well because like i said he came off extremely aggressive before we still need to you know get into a little bit more of his characterization and stuff too and his relationship with his brother and more so of why he even is like that because as you guys seen like back when uh you know the mom turned to a demon he had to kill the mom, save his brother, because the other siblings, they end up getting killed. Immediately. Shit, one of them right in his arms. And, you know, so now you can see the trauma between both of them, and you can kind of see how they both, um, I don't want to say, well, I mean, I guess you could say motivate, how it motivated both of them uh, to do what they're doing right now. He wants to become a Hashira. His brother is already a Hashira. Um... And yeah, then we're gonna get learn more and more about his situation too. So stay tuned for all that. The leftover effect of Nezuko heating up and essentially forging Tanjiro's burner blade, <laughs> pun intended, into a <laughs> red sword. There's like an after image effect to where after you hit a demon with the attack, it's like their wounds can't regenerate as much as they could have previously. I, I right. That was badass, don't get me wrong, but th for me, the, the highlight of this episode was so <laughs> funny it was for that yep. little dude <laughs> to be running around, and it almost kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Chainsaw Man animation with Denji versus the Leech Devil. It's like you can see the, the little mm. legs running, but the camera yeah. is moving faster than the legs, so it's like, it's a little bit off-putting. But I think that's <laughs> part of the charm of that particular scene. And it immediately broke when Genya tried to swing his sword at the fifth version of Han Tengu. So what's it going to mm -hmm. take for Tanjiro in order to cut off this head here? Is it going to be him? Is it going to be someone else? Are they going to have to do some other strategy? I guess we'll see. Right, <clears throat> and another highlight too is just the fact, and I brought it up too. That's also funny. Uh, Genya, like in his head, how he's like yelling and stuff. I don't know why it was so funny, and you could tell they put emphasis on it to kind of, or at least the way I seen it, to make it a little, um, obviously to make it intense because you know his whole whatever's going on with him. But also, I feel like it was purposely comedic because he kept doing it. In certain mm -hmm. words he would say, it would like sound, and then while he's chasing the little guy, so that was all funny. I like that a lot. Uh, but yeah man I don't got nothing else to say this was a fire episode can't wait for the next one again another banger backstory from Gotoge uh, but that's the final thing I have to say on this one yes sir so you guys know the drill come back every Sunday we're gonna have Demon Slayer coming out for you guys we got Villain Saga on the channel we got uh, Hell's Paradise we've done Bleach Chainsaw Man in the past and also this video is probably going to, well obviously it's gonna come out after cause we're gonna be doing the live stream if you're watching this video and you didn't catch the stream for Chainsaw Man, uh, you can watch it after. We'll upload the stream as well to that. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. And hope you guys can tune in for all the stuff that we bring out for you guys. So, without further ado, I'll let you guys all have a good one. So, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. See you guys on the next video. And peace. peace.